2016 was interesting. There had never been such a dramatic, fact-based, consequential event. There's a growing and established distrust in the media. 64% of the news is distributed through social channels. You're seeing what your friends share, basically building a bubble around you. That's what we're trying to pop. We need a human and AI collaboration to scan the quantity of information that is published out there and re-establish trust in what we're writing. Our mission is to write the most unbiased news on the planet. It's as simple as that. We think about bias only at the level of the article itself or the story itself. But there's a lot of bias in what publications decide to publish on versus what they choose to omit. We make our editorial decisions completely based on data. Our initial choice is to cover the most important stories of the day. We basically track the quantity of information that's published about a given story, um, and that informs a score in our prioritization queue by which we select what story to publish on next. The queue is infinite. One of the critical pieces of our system is the way we cluster stories together. When Brexit happens, our system will put all stories in the same event. And as more article and more content is published on the issue, the system constantly reevaluates every single cluster. The original big Brexit case was then broken up into the Prime Minister's reaction in one story and then the opposition's reaction, etc. etc. We have an event cluster, it's verified by a journalist, and then a journalist picks up a story, picks up an event in the queue. The system will take the aggregate set of information and build a tree of facts that is mapping facts and how facts relate to one another. And based on that, the system finds the most coherent and salient path to write the most coherent and salient article. This story is about Macron visiting and speaking to Congress. On the left, we have mention of Macron's speech criticizing the climate change policy and the US leaving the Paris Accords. The right side emphasizes Macron's parts of his speech around the commonalities between the two nations. Our headline was French President calls on the US to reject isolationism. The news that Trump agreed to meet Kim Jong-un. On one side we have North Korea is the ultimate test for Trump's deal making. On the other side we have North Korea propaganda film is coming true thanks to Trump. And in the middle we have President Trump agrees to a historic meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The system can take as little as 15 seconds to write an article. I fundamentally believe that we're doing something great for journalism. We're freeing up resources, we're driving down the cost of production. There are things for which a machine is very good and there are things for which at this stage a machine isn't good. The AI is a check on the human biases and the journalisms are a check on the system itself. Adding data to journalism will bring back trust. It's just a check and a quantifiable and transparent metric 